What was that? Nope, 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 I'm good, I'm good. We gotta get out of here. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and these are my dogs, Camper and Rodney Delventhal. For over three years, we lived in a Toyota Prius, but now we're in a four x four Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seat belts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and turn on notifications. We would be so thankful. Yesterday we started heading south to get out of the snow and we're driving through truly the middle of nowhere, Nevada. Nothing for hundreds of miles until we came up on our first gas station, which just happened to have been a Love's and decided to make that our home for the evening. As usual, I did my research on the area to make sure where we were was safe. And I quickly learned that we were in one of the most haunted places in the world. This place, every single building is haunted, but there's one specific building that caught my eye. Not only only is it one of the most haunted, but it's also one of the creepiest buildings I have ever seen. So naturally I thought, let's go check it out. Come on boys. Oh, what you got there? All right, camp, let's take out the trash. All right, go ahead. And then I decided why not take it one step further and instead of just checking it out during the day. Why don't we give them a call and try to stay the night? Hi, do you guys have any availability for tomorrow night for myself and my two dogs? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I have a pet room available tomorrow. Amazing, I would love to book a room. We got our handy dandy ghost hunters. We've got Camper and we've got Rodney Valentine. All right, let's get out of here, guys. I have no idea what to expect and frankly, I'm so scared and terrified already and we haven't even started. So uh, what do you guys say? We get over to the motel and uh, just jump right on in. I'm so nervous. Uh, worst case, we just use Rodney as a sacrificial lamb. Hey, yo, not cool, bro. Our room's not gonna be ready for a few more hours, so I figured we would take a drive around town to really get a feel for it. For one, the vibe here is truly haunted, but also somewhat abandoned in the fact that there's only 2,000 people that live here, uh, and it really is in the middle of nowhere. You guys will notice a lot of mining equipment and mines, and that's because this place was once a booming, town for silver, gold, copper, and lead. In fact, from 1900 to 1921, it's said that over 121 million was collected here. It was booming, but like many mining towns of that time, it started to fizzle out. Not only that, but there were two major events. One was a huge fire that wiped out a lot of the mines and things like that around the time of World War II. But another one was a plague. So it is said that now there are ghosts and miners haunting all of the buildings here, but especially where we're staying, but we'll get more into that later. Behind us right here is the Mizpah Hotel. Now, as many common Wild West towns, the hotel was not just a hotel, if you know what I'm saying. The most famous ghost here is the Lady in Red. She lived on the top floor and she was what you could call a high class lady of the night. But things went south. She was brutally murdered by a jealous lover who wanted her to stop working for him. And with that, her presence lives on right here in this hotel.
People come from all over to stay in the Lady in Red room, but what most people don't know is that she was actually murdered right here outside of room 503 and 502, as this used to be one massive suite. And to this day, it is said that her presence lingers here, and especially in that room, which I can definitely say I am feeling it. Oh, it's so eerie. Hi, good boys. All right, it's almost two o'clock, so let's get over to the Clown Motel. I'm so nervous. Uh, you sure this is a good idea? I've never seen anything like this. I can certainly see how they got their name as the most haunted motel in America, but also the creepiest. Low key, I'm scared of clowns, but you know, like everything, I just I like just put myself in it. <laughs> but as if it couldn't get any scarier, check this out. The hotel is set on and part of the old Tonopah Cemetery. The cemetery holds some of the earliest silver mine workers who died in a tragic mining accident, the fire we spoke about earlier. It is said that the miners' spirits will come and take over the clowns in this hotel and sometimes even physically moving them. And with thousands of clowns from all over the world, we are bound to experience some ghost activity. But first, let's get checked in. Hi, are you Chris? Yes. Hi, I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you, Nikki. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Clown Motel. Thank you. Wow, now this is a sight. Chris, how long have you been working here? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And have you uh, had a lot of paranormal activity, things yes. like that? Yes, I have. Oh yeah, this might be a good time to tell you guys if you don't like clowns, <laughs> This might not be the video for you because we've got, to be exact, Chris said 5,600 of them. And I even asked him if he has seen any of them move. And let's just say he has a lot of stories and we're gonna get some of those on a ghost tour tonight. All right, so we're getting an EMF reader here, uh, but we're also getting extra batteries because... On ghost tours, uh, any spirits that are around, they like to drain batteries basically as you get towards spirits this will go off and the number will get higher and higher based on the paranormal activity we also have cat balls which you will place down and they will randomly go off as the spirits come in contact with them that was just a little taste of what we're gonna get chris i'll see you tonight yes. when the sun goes down let's check out our rooms before we check into our room, Chris did say we could check out some of the other rooms. So let's start with 107 Fear Unlimited. So it said that someone was murdered in this room. So if there's a spirit, this is the place to get one. Thank goodness we're not staying in this room. This one is scary. I didn't turn these off and they go off randomly when there's a spirit around. <laughs> stop, 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 stop going off. Okay, next room, next room. Yep, we're good, we're good. We don't need that anymore. The Clown Hotel started in 1895. Two kids built it in memory of their father, Clarence David, a clown lover who left a collection of 150 clowns. So they made it the theme of the hotel in the memory of their father. And now people send clowns from all over the world. Wow, this one's pretty creepy. All right, let's check out one more and then get into our room. All right, next up, 208. Wow, these rooms are so cool. All right, now here's your upgrade key. Change of plans, Chris came back over and said that we could transition to 107 if we want to. So, you know, they always say face your fears. <laughs> So I said yes. So yeah, now we are officially staying in 107. Here goes nothing. I need to have this on 24 seven. Okay, we need all the lights on. Like all the lights need to be on. All right, boys, what do we think? Hey, yo, you guys are crazy. This place is so scary. There's no way I'm leaving your side. Oh, uh, Ma, you think these ghosts left some snacks for us? 
So we're just gonna get settled in, let the sun go down, and then we'll let the real ghost hunting commence in a few hours. So we'll see you then. Speaking of spooky mystery and thrills, I have been getting my adrenaline pumping lately on my long drives, listening to Audible's mystery and thriller titles. Audiobooks are one of my favorite ways to pass the time, and if you're in for a good thrill, I did just start Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, and it is literally keeping me on my toes. I love partnering with brands that I use and love, so I'm really excited to announce today's sponsor, Audible. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog. You'll also get access to a growing list of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You can download included titles as much as you want, from mysteries and thrillers to health and wellness, business, and more. It's super easy to use in any situation, and new members get to try it for free. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Nikki D or text Nikki D to 500 500. All right, you guys, what do you say we see what mysteries and thrills we can get into now? So you know how they say that ghosts make really weird things happen? My mic stopped working here. The sun has officially set, which means our ghost hunt is just getting started. Uh, I'm really nervous because we are spending the next seven or eight hours doing this until the wee hours of the morning. But also the owner has agreed, or well, I agreed, to stay in the office all by myself. For the next hour, we joined Chris's tour group through the rooms, which frankly freaked me out because we picked up a ton of activity. Went through the cemetery and back into the office with all the clowns. All right, before we go out on our own, we're gonna check on the boys. We definitely need this. All right, now I'm going to explore the cemetery by myself. And uh, this is probably the scariest thing I think I've ever done. <sighs> There's already, oh, stop, seriously? You know, they say the most activity happens when you're by yourself, right? And right now this is going off. There is a ghost right here. I can feel him, I can feel it. Oh my God, my whole body just went freezing cold. What was that? Nope, 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 I'm good, I'm good. We gotta get out of here. Yep, we're done. Oh my God. I think that's enough for today. Yeah, we're good, we're good right now. We gotta take a little chill pill before we get locked in the clown room all by ourselves with the lights out. What are you barking at? Is there something in here? What's in here? There's something in here. <sighs> Camper, you were right. Okay, there's something in there. We don't need to go into the bathroom. We're good. There's something. <laughs> oh no, I know. It's okay, you guys can come with me to the next thing. Baby. Rodney's still just chilling, doesn't care. Rodney, you good? Oh yeah, ma. Nothing's gonna get me over here. While I was sitting here warming up before going into the clown office, this just hit 32. Like randomly and then shut off. <sighs> I like felt it, it was like my legs got weak. This is some crazy stuff. All right, boys, it's that time. The office is closing, which means they are closing the office on us. I'm a little nervous, but that's what we came here for. Will she come back out? Just kidding, that was freaky. The party's here. <laughs> Lights out. We're setting up the room for the next hour. Yes, put it up there. That thing freaked me out earlier. All right, I'm putting one right over here. We're gonna put one, oh my God, it's going. Stop it. I'm <laughs> telling you that guy does not like me. Good luck, I'll see you later. 
Bye, Chris. Bye. Bye, guys. We are officially locked in. So I have spent most of the day trying to figure out and really convince myself that that was on a motion detector. Um, <laughs> but I keep waving stuff in front of it every time I come in here and it's only gone off one out of 10 times. <laughs> it just went off again and now I'm just scared. <laughs> oh, f oh my God, no, 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 no. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I feel like I'm supposed to sit in the middle and just observe. Wow, this is the highest rating we've had. It's at a two, 200. Let me tell you, there's nothing like sitting in between 5,600 clowns who are haunted by minor spirits. We're not even done. I think we're gonna go check out a few more rooms. I mean, it's like one in the morning, we might as well. What do you see, camper? All right, there's something over here. This is strong. When this thing goes off, I get so freaked out. It's going off. Let's see how Charlie's doing. Oh my goodness, Charlie moved. Breathe. Don't cry, don't cry. You all right, my dude? I never fully believed in this kind of stuff until today. I always thought there was like a possibility, but now I'm like 100% sure. <laughs> what I am seeing is wild. All right, lights back on, doors unlocked. We had a good time, didn't we? The boys were scared. Before we officially head to bed, Chris has agreed to do a little ghost hunting in our room and tell us some stories. So let's hear about the room we're sleeping in tonight because that's going to make me feel so much more comfortable to sleep in it. <laughs> this is where I feel on the middle room. This is room 107. This is one of the most haunted rooms that we have. Oh, jeez. And for that simple reason, they do say people that die here in the motel and in the rooms. Yeah, it was acting funny earlier. There. Oops. See? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. This is wild. I am not sure how much I'm gonna sleep tonight, but Hopefully we sleep right through the night and nothing crazy happens. But if it does, you do know we're gonna tell you. <laughs> that took everything in my soul to take a shower in there, knowing that's where <laughs> the spirits are. But I feel much better now. We're also gonna set up a night lapse for tonight in case anything happens. Hopefully we can get a little bit of sleep tonight. We'll see, we'll let you guys know in the morning. I lied, we're sleeping with the red light on. It's too creepy. First things first, let's get the boys some food. All right. Yeah, you guys miss the van, me too. Go ahead. I don't really know how I feel about last night and that sleep. Like part of me is like, you just didn't sleep well. But then the other part of me is like, you didn't sleep well. Yeah. Like clockwork, Rodney ate in one bite and camper's still going. So come on, let's go get our stuff while camper eats. Come on, Rod. <laughs> you are too cute.
Bye, haunted ghosts. Here we go. <sighs> I just noticed a car wash that is high enough for my van and a coffee shop in town. So I already know where today is going. So before we do that, moral of the story, I think I believe in ghosts more than I ever do. Slept like last night and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps us out. Love you all. See you next week.